Look at all these YouTubers getting millions of views making the world's hardest game. And thousands of people download and play these games because even though they're incredibly difficult, players get addicted to the challenge and more importantly, the satisfaction they get from finally beating the game. So I'm gonna make a game that'll instantly give the player the satisfaction of winning the game like beating the Ender Dragon, passing a level, or passing the first three. Hence making it the easiest game ever. So before I start making a game, I googled what the current easiest game in the world was and found this. I mean this game is so easy that you'd have to be like really really stupid to get an answer incorrect. Oh sh- oh, Okay this game is definitely broken like like okay how many fingers are on a human hand? Six! Like everybody knows that. What so you're telling me this isn't a human hand? Like then I found this game, which is literally called the world's easiest game. And it has over 100k downloads. So I downloaded it and the game is literally you dragging a ball across whatever this is. Probably should have guessed how scuffed this game was from all these one star reviews. <laughs> Needless to say, the world needs a new easiest game. So I opened up Unity and oh, I think it wants you to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on notifications. Anyway, because this is supposed to be the easiest game on the planet, I figured it should be pretty easy to make too. So instead of doing any of the background modeling, I just stole this from the Unity Asset Store. Then I added this cube, repositioned it in the middle of the scene, and then I resized it to make it look a little like a table. Then I added another cube on top of this table because <laughs> it's the easiest thing I could think of doing. And after doing some color tweaking, I think it looks pretty good. Now because this is supposed to be the world's easiest game, I wanted the only input for the game to be a singular touch. So I wrote some code for that and this is what happens when you touch the screen now. And after doing a little bit of tweaking, I think the explosion looks much better now. Then I added a windscreen and animated it so it looks cool. And then after adding some finishing touches like the explosion sound effect, I made an app icon for the game. Then I packaged and built the app and this is what it looks like. Yeah, then for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to put it on the Google Play Store. <laughs> so after making a listing, Google now has to review and approve the app before it can be published on the Play Store. I mean, surely there's no reason Google would reject the app, right? But that's when I realized, this isn't the world's easiest game. I mean, you have to first open the app and then move your finger to tap on the screen to beat the game. I think I need to brainstorm for a better idea for the world's easiest game. And so milliseconds turned to seconds, and seconds turned to decades, I mean 30 seconds, and that's when it hit me. The easiest game in the world would be a game you don't even have to do anything to beat. I mean, you would have to open the app, but then that's it. So I built the app, and ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the world's easiest game. If you didn't know, I have a Discord server. I'll link it in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.